morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. is a high security area beyond Sector C. You will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives.
a reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, Please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. What are Please you doing to still running around up here? Complex level six. Conference room B.
Good morning, there Dr. Was a Freeman. Leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What's that symbol there? That one? No, this one. That's a finger smudge. You forgot to carry the two. Or was it the three? Got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Oh, would you Good look morning, at that. Good morning, Gordon. Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Please call 470. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in Morning, science. champ. Hello. Have you seen my coffee cup? I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated... Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Somebody get me some toilet paper. Excuse me, minor emergency. I don't panic, Harold. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Ah, I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit.
Personally, I prefer non-Euclidean geometry. I hope things return to normal after this experiment. Don't Listen, count on it. I'm only if going anything, to explain this to you to one do. more time. If you have a question that isn't my problem, it's yours. Right. And if I have a question, it isn't my problem. Oh, contraire. It is still very much so your problem. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Ah, Freeman! Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Hmm. Is remaining photonic energy to ensure to residence control. Double check the Brewster's plates angles and make sure the super are protected from optical. What's the extension for technical support? Greetings, Dr. Freeman. Ah, Gordon. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? It was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Beckwell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. You know, are you 100% sure that theory of yours is correct? How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful.
Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Dr. Freeman, please. Is this thing on? Gordon, climb up and start the rotors. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three... Two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion or non-standard specimen. Oh my god. Shut it down. Shut it down. Someone get him out of there. Shut it down. It's not. It's not shutting down. Move go!
alla long job. Long. Ah, for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is there. Ah! My God, what have we done? Fascinating. Would you look at that? We can't afford to waste time. You'll need me for the retinal scan. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me?
am I glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Yeah, we might stand a better chance if we team up. Don't get near you. This place is in bad shape. Shit is something out of a sci-fi movie. Okay, I'm gonna try to call for help. You gotta get to the admin office upstairs. There's got to be somebody there who can fix this. Come in, anybody. This is Sector C, Anomalous Material. We have an emergency system.
Mission depleted. Thank God. Listen, 
I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door.